Hello everybody, welcome back to the garage. Uh, if you're new to this channel, um, this is my 2010 uh, Crown Vic Police Interceptor. It's a it's supercharged with a Vortec supercharger. And I haven't posted a lot of videos in a long time. Uh, today, I decided to wash the car and um, talked about a couple things that that's happened to the car. I posted all the videos and I put them on somewhere on the video where I talked about all the modifications and the history of the car and all that. But so far, you know, it has, it has been maybe a year since I posted any videos and I thought that this was the best opportunity to talk about, you know, some things that's happened to the car and some of the changes that I've done or has happened in my life. Anyway, to start off, the um, the first thing that, that, that happened, I you know, I don't drive it during the winter. During the winter, it's, I, I store the car in the garage. But the first thing that happened, I talked to Chris at Eddie TR, and he said this happened before. And I think it's a um, problem with how they manufacture or how they cast or weld this bracket. But the bracket, you can actually see it from here. It's an idler pulley bracket, and it's right there. Now it's black. Basically, what had happened with that bracket is that it had bented forward. And then so the pulley, the outer pulley started making contact on the back of the supercharger. I luckily caught it on time and um, no damage actually happened to the supercharger. Although I did have to change the serpentine belt. I contacted Chris at ADTR and I show him pictures and show him what had happened with the bracket. Then that's when he told me that this happened before. Anyway, he was able to get a replacement through Vortec. And then he sent me that to me. And then what I did to the bracket was I took it to a local welder and he reinforced the bracket. And then after that, I, um, I went ahead and took it somewhere to get it powder coated. And powder coating I don't think it was necessary but it was just more of the looks and my peace of mind I, my thought process was that if I cut or pot if I put a uh, a coat of powder coating on top of it, it will be kind of sealed and and then elements or anything will won't interfere with the welds or or moisture will not get in and whatnot I also went to go ahead and changed all the uh, pulleys, all the outer pulleys, so there's, there's that one right there on the Dorito looking bracket. There's one right underneath the the um, the supercharger, and then there is the uh, a plastic one that you could actually probably see. Let's see on this side. There's a plastic. Sorry, there's a total of three. There is this one here and then there is one right there might be the light but there's one right there that one's plastic and then there's one more on top of the it's in this area right here it's on top of the um, air conditioner um, compressor anyway I went go ahead and change all those especially uh, the metal one that's smaller that's on top of the air AC compressor had a little bit of nicks on them I don't think it would have been a big deal but since I had the supercharger off um, I thought it was best to just when I went to get I went go ahead and, and replace them I also replaced the the pulley to the supercharger I think the pulley of the supercharger might have been nicked because what happened was the serpentine an edge of the serpentine was ripped when the bracket bended so it's a possibility 
that when that happened, it, it nicked the the pulley of the supercharger. I also changed the serpentine tensioner so I, since I had everything off. I went ahead and changed the serpentine tensioner, all other pulleys, and the serpentine. That's that's pretty much the biggest thing that's happened to the car. Other than, let me think. Um, I have a Pedal Max from JMS Performance. The Pedal Max, it basically sends more electricity towards the throttle body. There's a knob that you could control um, how much your throttle response you want. It was throwing some uh, some high voltage and low voltages codes to the throttle position sensor. And so something was wrong with it. I end up contacting JMS. They sent me a replacement. I put it back. I basically the biggest thing is if you do have a what is it 06 and above uh, Crown Vic that has an electronic throttle body. The biggest thing is to do when you disconnect the battery and you install the, the pedal max, you have to do the throttle. Uh, relearn procedure that's the biggest thing about it if you don't do that and you just start you start driving it um, it would it will throw codes about you know throttle uh, position throttle voltage problems or codes but yeah I especially with the supercharger having the throttle max it, it's it's a lot of different it, it makes a difference it's very I mean it's pretty good I, I won't lie um, other than that that's uh, that's pretty much it um, if you've been following the channel I been taking the car to the quarter mile track and the best time I was able to get with street tires and by the way the, the tires that I'm running are the general G max and they're the stock um size that it's for a crown vague police interceptor and the fastest time i was able to get with race fuel is 13.6 that was the fastest time i was able to get to a quarter mile and even then the car was spinning the tires were spinning a whole bunch especially from the start anyway the the plan is to sometime here soon um, is to try the car again with race fuel uh, but with with uh, drag radials and I got some Mickey Thompson drag radials that are actually right over there and I wanted to try or I want to try to run the car a quarter mile with drag radials to see uh, what the quarter mile time would be and then after that the plan is to uh, change the torque converter and I have a higher stall torque converter it's actually in the box over there it's been there for almost a year or that is the plan here on forward if you want to check out more videos about all the modifications and things that I've done to the car I'm gonna put that a couple videos here in this video but that's that's pretty much it for for now, I'm, uh, I apologize. I haven't posted any videos, and somebody told me he said, "Hey, um, why don't you post more videos? Um, you know, you know, you have like 400 subscribers. That's 400 people that are, you know, interested in watching your videos. So, you know, that 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 was a thing of maybe um, my own motivation. And there's a another video I posted why I wasn't posting video for a while. Man, I had a lot, of, a lot of things going on in my life, um, especially with my, my my mom and some other things. But anyway, I think you guys saw in the background a couple new cars. So those are coming up here soon. I'm going to introduce those two cars. And um, there's other things, other projects that I'll be, uh, I'll be filming as well. Anyway, guys, that's it. That's it for now. Until then, I'll see you next time.